The PureFlow 3000 range of PAPRs are a new breed of industry-leading all-in-one powered air purifying respirators approved for use in light to medium industrial applications. The PureFlow 3000 PAPR range includes the following variants, hard hat, hard hat and welding ADF lens, skeletal frame with lightweight hood, skeletal frame with open visor. The PureFlow 3000 is an all-in-one head-mounted PAPR approved for respiratory, head, eye, and face protection with optional hearing protection available. The head-mounted design of the PureFlow 3000 means there is no hose or waste-mounted blower unit. This prevents the risk of snagging and enhances user comfort and mobility in the workplace. The unit does not require face fit testing prior to use and can be worn with facial hair and or spectacles. To ensure optimum performance, this video will outline the basic instructions for the proper use and maintenance of the PureFlow 3000 respirator. The PureFlow 3000 is an out-of-the-box solution, meaning you can be ready for work within minutes. In the box, you will find powered air purifying respirator system, visor overlays, HEPA filter, two rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, battery charger and cable, pack of three cleaning plugs, user manual. Now that you've unpacked your respirator, we need to set it up ready for use. To charge the battery pack, insert the power cable into the charger and then into the power supply. Then, insert the battery into the charging slot, ensuring it clicks fully into place. There are four LED battery indicators. LED1 flashing red indicates the temperature is too low or too high for charging, or that the battery has failed. When LED1 is solid red, the battery is charging. As the battery charges, LED2, 3, and 4 will light sequentially solid green until fully charged. If LED1 flashes red and LED4 flashes green at the same time, the battery has failed. To install a fully charged battery, insert the battery into the battery housing, ensuring it clicks fully into position. To install a new HEPA filter, remove the filter housing by pressing either the left or right latch on the back of the unit. Place the HEPA filter into the rear of the filter housing, ensuring the filter label faces upwards as worn. Then, applying firm pressure, click to engage the filter housing with the two filter latches as shown. After fitting the filter, check that the air inlet is clean and free from any obstructions. Before using your respirator, check that the face seal is inserted into the face shield correctly. For general use, the face seal should always be checked for damage and replaced if required. For maximum comfort, it's important to take time to ensure your respirator fits correctly before use. To do this, we will carry out the following checks. Crown strap adjustment, headband adjustment, face seal fitting, Visor overlay fitting. To adjust the crown strap for optimal height, release the headband mounts from the four attachment posts in the respirator frame by pressing the release clip. Unfasten and remove the crown pad to access the adjustment straps. Adjust the length of the strap as required. This position will ensure correct head ventilation for the product. If fitted correctly, the headband should fit securely on the brow above the eye line. After adjustment, reposition the crown pad on the headband strap. Reattach the headband to the frame in reverse order, making sure it is locked into position. 
Reattach the face seal press fasteners to the matting press fasteners on the face seal. Ensure the elastic straps are routed around the headband. For comfort and security, the quick release headband can be adjusted each time prior to entering the work environment. Modify the headband size using the headband adjuster. To tighten, press the ratchet adjuster and rotate clockwise. To loosen, press the ratchet adjuster and rotate counterclockwise. Before use, it is recommended that you fit a visor overlay to the main visor to help prolong the life of the visor. With a lint-free cloth, clean the visor lens to remove any debris on the lens surface. Remove white release liner from adhesive on the back of the visor overlay. Position the visor overlay over the PureFlow 3000 visor. Align the notch at the top and the bottom of the visor overlay with the matching notches on the visor lens. Adhere the center of the visor overlay to the center of the visor lens. Starting from the center, smooth the visor overlay onto the visor lens on each side. If the visor overlay is not flat on the visor lens, peel back the affected portion of the visor overlay and reapply. Once your respirator is adjusted to your own personal fit, donning your respirator is quick and easy. Donning the respirator. Switch the unit on using the on-off button on the side of the respirator. To ensure the unit is working correctly, check that the LED status indicator is showing green. Firmly close the shield by pulling the tab located on the face seal to lower the visor. Then, ensure the face seal is pulled under the chin and is not twisted or folded. Modify the headband size using the headband adjuster. Doffing the respirator. Before taking the respirator off, loosen the quick release headband by pressing the ratchet button and simultaneously rotating the ratchet counterclockwise. Pull the face seal away from the chin to allow easy removal of the respirator. Remove the respirator. Press the on-off switch to switch the respirator off. If special decontamination procedures are required, take appropriate precautions and place the respirator in a suitable sealed container. Otherwise, clean the respirator as described later in this video. To replace the face seal, first, detach the elastic straps from the brow pad and remove the visor frame on both the left and right sides. Remove by pulling the rubber seal out of the channel. Then, to fit the new face seal, ensure that the pull tab is on the outside of the face seal. Then, starting at the start of the face shield frame channel at one side, Firmly press the ribbed edge strip fully into the channel until you reach the end of the channel on the opposite side. Finish by reattaching the press fasteners on each side of the frame to secure the elastic straps around the headband. To replace the face shield, turn the unit upside down to gain access to the face shield retainer clips. Insert a flat blade screwdriver into the slot to disengage the retaining clips on the back side of the visor frame and release and remove from both sides. Remove the face shield from the frame. Carefully reassemble, fitting the new face shield into the visor frame and replacing the retaining clips on each side. To install a new headband, first remove the old headband. Start by disengaging the rear two clips. Then lift the headband up and disengage the front two clips.
Fit the new band by reattaching the four clips to the frame. When the status indicator LED illuminates red, further investigation is required regarding the condition of the filter and or the battery. If no fault is found on the battery, the HEPA filter must be replaced. Open the filter cover by releasing the latches on both sides of the respirator. Remove the filter cover by pressing the two filter latches. Remove the contaminated HEPA filter and pre-filter as applicable. Please dispose of the used filter responsibly. Be sure to not allow any dirt or elements which may obstruct the airflow to enter the air inlet whilst replacing the filter. Insert the HEPA filter correctly into the filter cover housing with the filter label facing upwards. Refit the filter cover into its original position on the respirator. Replacing the brow pad. Remove the brow comfort pad by pulling away from the hook and loop retaining strip. Place the new brow pad onto the hook and loop strip. Ensure the brow pad is placed centrally to the front of the headband so that it sits equally left and right to the user's head. Ensure the perforated side of the brow pad is facing the user's skin. Replacing the crown pad. Detach the press fasteners from the crown comfort pad and remove from the headband. Wrap the new crown pad around the crown section of headband and secure the press fasteners. Ensure the perforated side of the crown pad is facing the user's skin. To assist with changing the crown pad, it may be necessary to remove the headband. Nape pad. Detach the press fasteners from the nape comfort pad and remove from the headband. Retain nape pad if this is not being replaced. Place the new nape pad, if being replaced, onto the headband adjuster and wrap the new nape comfort pad around the headband adjuster and secure the press fasteners. Ensure the perforated side of the brow pad is facing the user's skin. The respirator should be cleaned after every use. Remove the respirator from the user's head before cleaning. Warning, never use pressurized air on any part of the respirator. Before cleaning, remove the headband assembly, HEPA filter with cover, along with the rechargeable battery. Insert the provided cleaning plugs as shown for the air outlet air inlet, and battery cavity. Do not turn the respirator upside down or fill any area or cavity with liquids. For respirators with contamination, ensure that the face shield is down and the respirator is upright. Clean using a clean cloth with a mild solution of a household liquid soap and water. For ingrained dirt on the outside of the respirator, excluding visor, a nail brush or ultrasonic brush may be used. Dry the respirator with a clean, lint-free cloth. Do not use a heat source. Wipe the inside and outside of the respirator. Pure wipe cleaning wipes are recommended for this purpose. Do not immerse the respirator in water or any fluid. Do not use organic solvents or abrasive cleaning agents on any part of the respirator. Disposal and cleaning of parts should be undertaken in accordance with local health and safety and environmental regulations.
If the respirator has been used in an area that has caused it to become contaminated with a substance requiring special decontamination procedures, observe the precautions described in the manufacturer's health and safety information. With proper use and care, this next-generation respiratory system will enhance workplace performance with protection you can count on.